Hey Gemini, Happy New Year! Uh, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of January 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Alright, let's see. Gemini. What is going on with you? We have tribe for the overall energy here. Okay, so it could be that um, mm, family issues or somebody just really thinking about what family really means or, you know, who belongs in their soul tribe and who does not, who resonates with them. So this could be you, this could be somebody else. Really just sorting out people that we allow into our lives and how much influence they have on us. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First couple of weeks of January. Do remember that the roles can be reversed for general readings. All right, so for the main situation, we have the Five of Cups crossed by the Three of Cups, okay. So somebody is really depressed. Somebody is really feeling um, a sense of loss, maybe even some guilt. And of course the challenge here is to actually be able to see things in a more positive, positive way. Hmm. For your recent past, we have the Two of Cups, current energy, the Seven of Wands, and near future we have the four of wands okay so definitely there's been love here all right in the recent past there was a lot of deep feelings for somebody um, at the moment i feel like you're blocking that out or you're just really having your guard up um maybe even fighting against others so this could be you for example figuring out who belongs in your life and who doesn't so just kind of having your guard up and being defensive as to who you allow in. And I actually see that coming up though. It's like you're, you're actually sorting that out with the four of wands, like having stability with the people around you or even within a particular love connection here. Let's see for them. So for them, we have the three of wands in their recent past, the page of pentacles currently, and in the near future, the wheel of fortune potential outcome is the sun. Okay. So it feels like there was some um, either waiting or some procrastination on the other person's side here. So whereas you were in this energy of like really feeling this love, I see this person in the recent past not having taken much action towards this. Currently, there are some steps that are being taken with this page of pentacles possibly this person is still learning how to deal with certain things or something we'll see when we clarify and definitely a huge shift for them turning a wheel in, in a different direction possibly even closing out some karmic cycles here and i mean the the potential outcome here with the sun is beautiful right it's all about happiness love truth all of that It's also Leo energy, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo. So let's clarify. So let's see the Five of Cups with the Three of Cups. <clears throat> have the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Emperor. Alright, so I don't know who this is, but somebody is really feeling um, a lot of sadness, especially when it comes to a reconciliation possibly here. Because there's an absence of that reconciliation, and so therefore there's also an absence of of that happiness, but I do feel like it has a lot to do with the way that this person is um, dealing with certain things. Again, it's not clear if it's you or them, um, but I do feel like there has been some kind of a distance between the two of you, like somebody may have walked away from this or just created some distance, and it feels like there's a lot of regret for that as well, wanting this to come back. 
um, whoever this is, this person really wanting to take charge here in order to have this, this reconciliation. But again, it feels like there's a lot of pessimism or a lot of depression or just not feeling very, very positive at the moment. Let's take a two of cups for you. And I don't remember if I mentioned this, but the roles can be reversed. All right, so for the two of cups, in your past, we have the Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, so what it is that you wanted to manifest here, what it is that you wanted to actually work out and be successful, it didn't. It's almost like, you know, if there was this, um, I feel like there was some kind of either an indecision on somebody's side which prevented this love from fully being successful. Or there was just something that you could not, the two of you could not agree on. Just seeing things from a completely different perspective. Maybe even both. Let's see that three of wands for them in the recent past. The nine of cups and the king of wands. So it's like this person knew exactly what it is that would make them happy, right? They knew that you were their wish fulfillment. This is something they really wanted, but they were procrastinating. They were holding back. There was a lot of passion here, though. They held a lot of passion for you. And again, I do feel like this is something that they wanted. And that's why, you know, there's this sadness now. This could be actually on both of your sides, that five of cups. You're both sad about this. Um, about the fact that there has not been a reconciliation yet. It could even be that this person was also... Um, It feels like, they, you know, there might have been something else that they wanted here as well. And that could have been part of the procrastination because there was something else. And so it, it can be a little bit of selfishness, maybe, for some of them. Just kind of really wanting to have it all. But that would have been um, contradictory to what it is that you had wanted. And that's why we have that Two of Swords there for you. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see this Page of Pentacles and their current energy. Alright, we have... Ooh, okay. We have Temperance, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Swords. This person at the moment, there's, um, wow, they're determined here. Yeah, they're, it might not appear on the surface like they're giving much with that Page of Pentacles. I feel like they are still learning and they are taking some steps. And that's, those steps might be really small at the moment or that's how they appear, but there's something a lot bigger underlying that. Like that little step that they appear to be taking, or maybe you can't even see it at all for some of you, it's being driven by a lot of determinism. Um, having made a decision, this is very, very different from that Three of Wands energy that was in their recent past. There's a lot of determinism here. It's being driven by love, right? And them wanting that completion of, of a love connection, right? Rather than just the Nine of Cups, it's the Ten of Cups now. And that's also attached to Temperance, which, by the way, is also um, Sagittarius energy. But this is coming from a place of a lot of healing and balance. So I'm not saying that this person is 100% balanced, um, just yet, but they are on that path. The steps that they are taking are coming from a balanced place and coming from love with a lot of determinism here. You seem to be closed off, though. Let's see. Let's 
let's say the seven of wands for you. The four of swords and the knight of cups. Okay, so you are healing. You are healing. I feel like you're just taking this time to just really um, allow yourself to heal from whatever it is that has happened here. Um, and at the same time, you just don't want anybody to bother you. <laughs> you just don't want to be bothered. Um, you're, you're feeling a little bit defensive. I feel like there is that part of you that knows that something is coming in. It's like you can feel the energy of this person moving in that direction, but you're not you're not really trusting it and that's okay that's okay for now because you you are healing during this time all right let's see that wheel of fortune for them in the near future And you know, this also feels like, yeah, you might be blocking out, uh, um, you know, whatever it is that's coming in that is actually not, not supporting your healing. So this could even be in terms of other people, not just this person for some of you, which could explain that tribe energy. But in whatever way, because I don't really see it um, being specified here, but there is some kind of family or somebody really making this discernment between what people belong in their life or not. So just take that message however it resonates for you. All right, so for the Wheel of Fortune, for them coming up, we have the Ace of Swords and we have Death. Okay, so that's Scorpio energy showing up. Something is shifting here. There is some kind of a transformation, possibly a closing out. Remember when I said um, this could even be um, closing out some kind of a karmic cycle or some kind of karma clearing up. I'm getting that again with this Death card here. This is all about an ending and a new beginning for this person, which is going to be in a completely different direction. So when we say ending, it doesn't mean the ending of the connection with you. That's not what I'm getting. It's just something that needed to close out. And again, it could even be related to that tribe card, having to end certain um, connections with other people who are not resonating with them, which may have even been serving as a barrier to the connection between the two of you. Whatever it is, I mean, it's attached to this Ace of Swords as well. That's all about truth. This is action, authenticity, genuine. So this person is really having some kind of a major ending here, which is shifting everything. Everything is shifting here. Throwing everything on a new path. Let's see that Four of Wands. Which is in your near future we have the queen of wands and the seven of pentacles okay so you're opening up a little bit here you're definitely opening up you're taking certain steps um but mostly what this is about is you having healed your own self and really finding your own sense of self-worth and feeling strong secure assured within your own self not only within your own self, but in the people that you allow to be in your environment and to be in your life. It feels like there's this some kind of like organization that you're doing, like clearing out with that seven of pentacles, just clearing out um, and organizing your environment, basically the people around you, who is going to be part of your foundation and who is not. So even when it comes to this person here, I feel like you're both doing that. All right, so let's see the sun for the potential outcome. All right, we have four of cups, six of pentacles and justice. All right, so Libra also showing up here. Um, There's a lot of balance that is coming in, especially when it came to feeling disappointments. 
I feel like, again, this has to do with the clearing out of people who just don't resonate with you or this other person. I feel like you're both doing this and that's why you're both moving towards this happiness here. It's like whatever it is that was disappointing or whatever it is that was just not aligning with your soul, people who were not able to offer you or them anything, right? There's, there's a lot of balance that is happening here to clear all of that out. So yeah, I mean, again, with justice, I feel like that's also, again, karma. Karma being resolved, things, th things just really falling into place. So that's actually beautiful. All right, Gemini. So if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And for some of you, this could even be coming out of depression. If some of you have been depressed or if your person has been going through depression, this is really coming out of that. All right, so for the final message here, we have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, does look that way. Prosperity doesn't have to be only in terms of finances, okay? It can be on all levels. And that's what I'm seeing here, right? With that sun <laughs> as your potential outcome. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.